Welcome to the National Healthcare Safety Network or NHSN application training. This training is a brief and informative application navigation video from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It serves as an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare associated infections or HAIs. In this training, you will learn how to add a component to a facility. By the end of this training video, you will be able to add a component to your facility, edit a record form, verify the component has been added, access and sign the NHSN agreement to participate in consent form, and activate the component. Let's get started. On the SAMS dashboard in the National Healthcare Safety Network System section, click the NHSN reporting link. You've now accessed the NHSN application and the NHSN landing page is displayed. Next, select your reporting component under Select Component. Click the drop-down menu button to view the list and click your component. Next, select your facility under Select Facility slash Group. Click the drop-down menu to view the list and click your facility. Then click the blue Submit button to enter the NHSN application and access the NHSN component homepage. A pop-up will appear for notification messages. Click OK and the pop-up will disappear. On the NHSN homepage in the NHSN home menu on the left side of the screen, click Facility to expand the facility menu, then select Add slash Edit Component from the menu to display the Edit Facility Information page. A pop-up will appear on this page, click OK and then it will disappear. Using the right scroll bar, scroll down until you see the Components Followed section that contains a table with a list of NHSN components. On the table in the first column, follow slash unfollowed, click the box next to the, the component that you are adding. Note, when you are adding a new component, do not deselect any existing components. If you deselect the component, you will no longer have access to the data. After clicking the follow slash follow button, a warning pop-up appears stating that the primary contact for the new component must be entered in the contact information section. Click the OK button on the pop-up. This will automatically display the edit record pop-up to add the primary contact information. On the edit record form, at the top of the form, click use existing NHSN user radio, bu radio button. In the existing NHSN user email, enter the user's email address. Then on the left side of the form, Halfway down, click the blue clipboard button to auto-fill the facility information. Once all required information is listed in the fields, click the Submit button in the bottom right corner of the form. A pop-up appears stating successfully updated contact information. Click the OK button to the pop-up to continue and return to the Edit Facility Information page. On this page, click the light blue update button located at the bottom of the page. After clicking the update button, you will receive a message at the top of the page that states, this organization has been successfully updated. A pop-up may also appear and you can just click OK and that will disappear as well. Next, you need to accept the component agreement and activate the component in your facility. To do this, you must first log out of NHSN. In the NHSN home navigation bar, click log out and it will take you back to SAMS. This concludes the adding a component to a facility process. Next, you will learn how to access, accept the component agreement and activate the component in your facility. Let's get started. You will take the same steps to access the NHSN component page on the SAMS dashboard. In the National Healthcare Safety Network System section, click the NHSN reporting link. You've now accessed the NHSN application and the NHSN landing page is displayed. 
Next, under Select Component, click the drop-down menu to view the list of components and click the Newly Added Component. Next, under, under Select Facility slash Group, click the drop-down arrow to view the list and select your facility. Then click the blue Submit button to enter the NHSN application. And the NHSN agreement to participate in consent document automatically displays. First, verify that you are in the correct component by viewing the home page name to the top left of the screen. Next, using the application right scroll bar, scroll down until you see a table listed under the document. This has a list of the facilities components and in the last column titled accept, click the box next to the co component for which you are accepting the agreement. Then click the submit button below. An alert pop up displays verifying the completion of the NHSN agreement to participate and consent form. Click the OK button on the form and the new component homepage will display. And this is just a notification message and you will click OK. And this concludes the accessing and accepting the component agreement process. If you need additional facility support, email nhsn at cdc.gov or visit online support at www cdc.gov forward slash NHSN. Thank you.